You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Cilio, Tales from a New Dawn. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. It's kind of early. I've got my, uh, it's almost 9 o'clock. Got my, uh, I already drank my coffee. I should be good to go, guys. Please sit back and enjoy it for the next 18 minutes while I entertain you, and let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you're up, and let's go. Okay. I'd initially planned to make something a touch healthier than his usual fare, but was unable to find any such thing in the house. So I settled on something of a breakfast, a breakfast burger. Hash browns, scrambled eggs, onions, and a breakfast sausage patty with ketchup and sandwich between two slices of brioche bread. Good lord, that sounds good. I quickly got to work. And with flawless timing, Diego plotted his way into the kitchen as I was serving up. Whoa, what you cooking? Actually, I just finished. Here you go. I handed Diego a plate with two breakfast burgers on it. I'd considered only giving him one, but I knew he wouldn't have, have been satisfied. Wow, this, what is this? It looks good. For lack of a better name, we'll call it a breakfast burger. It's got all your favorites, I think. Diego took a big bite out of his burger, spilling onions and a bit of ketchup on his plate as he did. He chewed for a few moments and swallowed before his mouth erupted into a huge grin. Ah, oh, man, this is delicious. You've obviously outdone yourself. You've totally outdone yourself. I'm glad you like it. I wanted to repay you for cooking breakfast these past couple days. Ah, uh, don't worry about that, man. I was cooking for myself, and, well, it's the least I could do. Shut up and let me repay you. Is it, if this is how you do it, my lips are sealed. I grabbed my plate and we seated ourselves on the couch, flicking on the TV for some background activity as we ate. So, how about today, then? What do you mean? Ugh. I mean, what if, I mean, what have you got planned? I don't really know, if I'm honest. Of course. Who is it? It's Ty. Yo, boss. You know I'm already working today, right? Oh, well, I can ask. Sure, hold on. Yo, Brian. Huh? Ty wants to chat with you. With me? Yeah. Diego thrust the phone towards to, thrown towards to me. I grabbed it and held it to my ear. H hello Brian, good morning. How are you keeping? I'm, uh, well, uh, how can I help? I'm well, uh, how can I help? Listen, I'm awfully sorry to contact you at home like this. It's okay, I don't mind. Well, I would loathe to put any unnecessary pressure on you, but I was wanting to check in. Have you given my offer any more thought? You see, I'm rather short on staff today, and I've exhausted all of my options. I mean, I'm happy to help, but wouldn't I need training first? Of course, of course. I'll be on floor all day today, so I can give you the, cash, the crash course and be there if you ever need my help. Oh, and if you do not like the work, please do not feel obligated to return. Consider it a risk-free trial. Oh, and of course I will pay you for it. I even give you and Diego dinner on the house's thanks. But only if you want to. Again, the last thing I wanted to put any pressure on you. That's quite the offer. You must really need my help. You know what? Sure thing. I don't. I didn't have any plans today anyway. Wonderful. I am elated to hear that. Now, I will only be needing you for the dinner, dinner time rush. It's only a short shift, four hours starting from 6 p.m. If you want to come in at 5 p.m., there'll be plenty of time to show you the ropes. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you then. Wonderful. Thank you for coming to my rescue. I look forward to seeing you tonight. And you. I disconnected the call and passed Diego his phone back. What was that all about? What time do you work today? Uh, 2 p.m. until 10 p.m. Why? I'll see you at 5 p.m. then. Huh? What? You're working for Ty now? Sort of. He called it a risk-free trial, but he's paying me and we both get free dinner, so why the hell not? Free dinner? Oh, yeah! Trust Diego to be excited over the prospect of a free meal. Between that and the breakfast I made, he was having a great day. So, you start at five. What are you gonna do until then? Huh, I have no idea. Why not hit the town, or see what Axel and Dom are up to? I could. Are you coming with? I better not. I start in a few hours, so I don't want to get caught up in something and lose track of time. That's fair. Oh, hey, uh, you attend the gym, right? It's been a while. I'm still a member, but I should probably quit. Oh? How come? That's complicated. Well, I guess with what you've been through recently, it would be hard to have, it would be hard to find motivation. Something like that. Where is it? It's on the corner of Baldwin and Swiss, a couple blocks from Ty's bar. Thanks. I might check it out. God knows I need the help to stay in shape from all this food we've been eating. I... Yeah, you do that. Is something wrong? 
Nah, nah, nothing. Ignore me. Have a good time. Okay. Diego seemed quite off all of a sudden. Was there something wrong with that gem? I was only more curious to find out. <sighs> you have unlocked the town map. This will be available most days, but not all. Blue blips indicate optional routes. You can complete as many of these as you like each day. Sweet. Optional routes are only available for a limited window of time, so be sure to complete them early. Red blips indicate main story routes. You can only complete one per day, and the same routes may not be available on different days. Choose wisely. Okay. Oh, hello there, cutie. Ooh, woo. I like this map. This map is really detailed. Wow. I like the man. These, man, these furry visual novels are just getting more and more complex, and... Ah, oh, man. I like it. That What is it? That dragon... Oh my god, what is it? A Dragon's Island? Oh my god, that Dragon's Island demo I'm playing. Man, that game is going to be really, really out there. Anyway, side mission. I decided to check out the local gym. After all, what better use for free time than to keep in shape? I figured a visit to the gym might do me some good. I'd made my way into town and managed to locate the gym without any hassles. Seeing no good reason to delay, I headed inside. I approached the front desk and inquired about the membership options. The kind woman behind the counter offered me a five-day free trial, which I gladly accepted. She also asked me if I wanted an orientation. I scoffed at the suggestion. After all, I'd been to gyms before. However, as I explored, I came across a wealth of machines I'd never previously used. I suppose that was the price for being cocky. I started out with some warm-ups and stretches before moving to a bicep curl machine. I proceeded through several sets of repetitions before noticing that I was being watched. There was only a few gym goers besides myself, and it was plainly obvious that I'd caught the eye of a huge raptor who was set up at the chest press. Oh my. It wasn't long before he approached me. Oh man, look at you. Well, well, fresh blood. Excuse me? You're new here, ain't you? Don't think I've seen you before. That's right. If I may offer a suggestion, you don't want to be throwing a bar like that. So instead he wins the race. Uh, thanks? Ain't no thing, friend. Oh, and welcome, by the way. Uh, thanks. So, what's a cute little fellow like you hoping to find in a place like this? Oh, uh, I just moved to Woodcrest. Figured I'd make an effort to stay in shape. Ooh, very fresh blood. That's precious. Well, stick by me, uh, name? Brian. Kyrex. Huh. It's my name. Kyrex. Oh. As I was saying, stick by me, Brian, and you'll go far. Happy to show you how we do things here in Woodcrest. And how would that be? Carrix leaned in uncomfortably close to deliver his answer. So close we were almost nose to nose. We work hard, we play harder. Sounds like the opening to a gay porno. <laughs> You're funny, I like you. If you say so. Oh, I do. Anywho, I'll stop distracting you. Enjoy your workout, bud. It's... Ugh. Before I, could remind him, before I could remind him of my name, he was already halfway back to the chest press, a wicked grin on his face all the while. What a weird guy. Next up, I grabbed a pair of dumbbells and got to work. It wasn't long before I was interrupted again. No, 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 no. Come on, man. What are you doing? What? Kyrick stood silently as I repeated my previous rep. You're still throwing your weights. And these are clearly too heavy for you. They're not. I repeated the exercise once again, going slower in an attempt to demonstrate that I could handle them. Look, you're shaking. Here. Kyrx grabbed a smaller pair of dumbbells from the rack and offered them to me, relieving me of the heavier set. You can't be overdoing it. Get your technique down on a lighter set and make sure your movements are nice and smooth. Do a longer set with these bad boys instead. Do it right and you'll have no trouble with them bigger ones in no time at all. I begrudgingly did as he suggested. My movements were indeed much smoother and I could still very much feel the burn in my arms and shoulders. You see? I guess. Heh, <laughs> it's alright, you'll get the hang of it. I finished my set, laid the dumbbells down on the floor, and wiped the seat from my and wiped the sweat from my brow. How'd it feel? It was fine, I guess. That's good. That's good. Trust me, I'm only looking out for you. Uh, thanks. Oh, and next time, maybe ask for the orientation, eh? I grumbled. His advice was no doubt helpful, but I also felt like he was making a fool of me. I spent the following half hour or so working out, or trying to at least. Every time I looked his way, Kyrix was looking right back at me, watching every set. Occasionally, as he had done prior, he would wander over and correct my mistakes. His advice was sound. He clearly knew what he was doing, even if it seemed, if, even if it seemed like he was taking too much of an interest in my business. 
Eventually, I decided I'd had enough for the day and slipped away to the locker rooms when Kyrex wasn't looking. After all, I hardly wanted his advice on the correct showering position. Showering technique. I washed myself off as quickly as I could manage and turned off the shower. I wrapped a towel around my waist and opened the door. Oh my. Surprise! Ah! Gotcha, didn't I? Damn it, Kyrex, what the hell is wrong with you? Heh, <laughs> sorry about that. I began putting on my clothes, careful not to let my towel slip while doing so. I instinctively had my guard up in Kyrex's presence. Perhaps it was just him being something of a stranger. Perhaps it was just specifically something about him. Well then, you said you just moved here. How long ago was that? Uh, four days. Settling in well, I hope? Yeah, uh, Woodcrest is a nice place. You rent an apartment? I'm staying with an old friend I haven't seen in a while. An old friend, huh? I have a theory. A theory? About what? Hear me out. First thing I noticed about you is you came to the gym wearing cologne. Second thing, no offense, was your technique. This ain't a lifestyle for you, friend. At least not yet. And then you tell me you moved here and you're staying with an old friend. Let me tell you what I think. You got the hots for that friend and you're here hoping to impress him. What on earth? I'd be lying if I said he wasn't at least a little bit right, of course. Uh, that's so cute. Um, don't worry about it. Your secret's safe with me. I'll even help you out and show you all the best workouts. Kyrex had been nothing if not a little flirtatious. It struck me that confirming his hypothesis, regardless of whether or not it was true, could be a good way to keep him at a distance. Your options open. Okay, so for right now, I'm going to say confirm my his hypothesis. I will definitely be going for a Kyrex run if he is dateable. Like, come on. Big, hunky raptor. Seriously. <clears throat> You're 100% right, I guess. Uh, let's save this part right here. And this shall be the Kyrex run. Okay. You're 100% right. Great guess. I knew it. Well, offer is on the table. I'm around here most of the time, so next time you come for, your, for a workout, come find me for a little personal training if you'd like. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. You're welcome. And hey, yeah? Good luck with your friend. Thanks. I successfully, I'd successfully kept Kyrex at a distance. It's probably for the best. Who knows what he'd have pulled otherwise. All the same, if he wanted to keep going into the gym, I'd almost certainly run into him again sooner or later. If I didn't want to run into him again, I should probably avoid the jet gym for a while. Oh, I, I like him. I mean, yes, he is very, uh... Not huge on personal space, but I, I guess it's just a clash of personality types. Axel... Cheetah Boy. I'd arranged with Axel and Dom to go exploring the woods. After all, Axel had suggested it back on the train and had been somewhat curious. The three of us met on a walking path along the way around the river and had ventured into the forest from there. It was a nice day out, I'll bet with a gentle chill in the air. We'd been wandering deeper into the woods for several minutes now, chattering amongst ourselves the entire way. This looks like a... <clears throat> this looks like a good a spot as any. Uh, for what? I brought snacks. Dom laid a small bag he'd been carrying on the ground and began to unload its contents. There were sandwiches within, as well as a pack of potato chips and some dip. Here you are, here you are, Brian. This one's yours. I took the sandwich from Dom and inspected it. It looked like orange eggs? Seeing, sensing my confusion, Axel took the opportunity to pipe up. It's curried egg! They're delicious, I promise! I see. Th thank you, Dom. I wasn't expecting this. It's no problem. I always bring lunch when we're out here. Could be going quite a way, so we'll need our energy. Besides, Axel can't really cook. Hey! C can too! <laughs> Just not very well. Dom merely chuckled in response before passing Axel his sandwich and offering him the bag of potato chips. Axel immediately perked right up once he had a sandwich in his hands. I took my first bite from the sandwich. Axel was right, it was delicious. Wow, did you make these from scratch? <laughs> well, I didn't lay the eggs, but yeah. Man, it's nice to eat something healthy for a change. Every time Diego cooks something, I'd have to put my napkin under it to collect all the grease. You'd best be careful unless you want a belly like his. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, Dom! Hmm? Any luck with those properties I sent you? Nothing yet. I'm hoping to hear back from the agency later this week. I know they're quite busy at the moment. Oh, are, they, are you house hunting? Yep. We're hoping to find somewhere we can move in together. Then I can have delicious curried egg sandwiches every day. Well, I don't know about every day, but yeah, we're hoping to sort of consolidate, keep our costs down and all that. We 
You're practically glued at the hip these days anyway, so why not? Maybe, maybe not glued. It was fun watching Axel get so flustered so easily. Fun and perhaps a little cute, too. Before long, the three of us had finished our sandwiches and half the potato chips between us, having packed away the remainder for later. We wandered. We had wandered. A, we had wandered a little farther into the woods, purposefully going in whatever direction looked looked the least disturbed, and using the GPS and compasses on our phones to prevent us from getting lost. Interestingly, we still had strong cell reception all the way out here. It perks up building cell towers on mountains, one would guess. Hey guys, what's that over there? Hmm. I don't see anything. I'll go over in the direction Axel was pointing, and from where I was standing, I could see something out of place. That being said, I couldn't see exactly what it was. I think I see something. Should we investigate? By all means, lead on. Having ventured closer, we saw what looked like an old abandoned building covered in tangled overgrowth. It looked as if it hadn't been occupied for a very long time with its missing roof shingles, battered window hatches, and dilapidated brickwork. It's a house? Seems to be. Dom approached the building with us both in tow. He did a circuit of he did a circuit of the building, inspecting it for a point of entry. It certainly seems wet, it's certainly weathered. There's no holes or anything we can get into, though. Dom then made his way to the front door. Axel and I stood back with bated breath as he tried the handle. Hmm. Locked tight, I'm afraid. He then followed up his statement by giving the door a swift kick. It didn't even budge slightly. Looks like this this one is a loss, I'm afraid. Door is surprisingly sturdy despite how it looks. Oh no. It's all right. We can always come back with tools. See if we can get the door loose. I'm sure nobody lives here. That's that's a little scary. Should we really do something like that? I'm not opposed. I guess it's up to Brian. Yeah, let's uh, come back with tools. Yeah, let's disturb who is ever living there. I mean, uh, that's just, I'll go. With, I'll go with Dom on this one. Yeah, now we're talking. Let me make a note of it of position on my map. What if we find? A dead body or something! <laughs> I'm sure that won't happen, Axel. And besides, if it did, we'd have our very own little murder mystery to investigate. No! I don't wanna! Dom continued to wind Axel up for the next few minutes before we decided to head back. God, these dudes are so adorable! Thanks for coming with us, Brian. It was fun! Indeed. Your company was very welcome. I hope you'll come with us again sometime. I had a good time. I'll definitely come again, if even if only for more of those um, for more of those sandwiches. I'm happy to hear you like them so much. The three of us said our goodbyes before splitting up and heading back to our respective houses. Work time. I had arrived at Ty's bar a few minutes shy at 5 p.m. I'd been home to freshen up in the interim. Diego had already left by that point. Look who it is! You made it. What did you think I was? What did you think I was kidding or something earlier? Nah, I just figured you'd be late or something. What's the term? Pot calling the kettle black or something? Ah, oh, shush. I'm gonna go fetch Ty. You wait here. Okay. I took a seat at one of the bar stools as I had done the day before and waited. I'd barely even sat down by the time Ty entered the room. Brian, wonderful that you could make it. Evening, Ty. Thank you for helping me out today. It is greatly appreciated. No problem at all. Follow me. I have a uniform for you to wear. Perfect place to end it, actually. Alrighty. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this new episode of Cilio. Met a hot raptor guy, we uh, made a, a little side mission for earlier. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all, I'll see you next time. Bye bye